Hey, how's it going? I'm Kerwin Frost, and I'm here at the I Know Nigo and Friends Spotify party. So right here, we're at the entrance of the uh, I Know Nigo release party. Upon entrance, you get a free uh, sweatshirt. Is that Egyptian cotton? How are you feeling today? I'm grateful. This project, right? It's been a, a long time coming, I feel like. Well, first of all, anything for the general. Aesthetically and like from a curation point of view and from a collector's point of view, he is just like such a leader that like, you know, when he's going in a certain direction, I'm always gonna follow. Right, that's very true. And then going further on that, it's generations of that, um, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, you with Nigo and then, you know, us kids growing up seeing that, grabbing things from that. Uh, this this shoe, this is my Adidas shoe, but this was a, uh, I was inspired by uh, your your babe collab with Nigo, where you had the face on the hill, wow. you know, and just like uh, working with colors and making them kind of shine yeah. in that way. Yeah. Another version of that is like you and Tyler, you yeah. know, and you guys yeah. also worked on this. Yeah. But yeah, we're all kind of kids of it and in, in this yeah. generational you know, always paying that homage, but like, yeah. It's, how did it feel working with Tyler on for the, for, for the record? Well, you know, Tyler's like, you know, I dare say little bro just based off earth years, but right. spiritually, I mean, he's my peer. Yeah. Um, so it was just, it's a natural fit. Yeah. You know? We all share these same aspirations to just like continue to level up. Right. You know? And he showed up with his A game. Right. You know, when he got in, he like, he, he went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. With uh, Paper Plates, can you tell me about just those sonics and taking it there? Because that song is so heavy. It's like there's weight on it. Yeah. Um, Paper Plates happened because I, I was like living in Los Angeles. I lived in Los Angeles for like four and a half years. But I was really like, I'm really just like an East Coast, like Miami guy. You know, yeah. Miami and of course Virginia, which made me. Right. And I was asleep. I was like sleep working. You know wow. how you sleep yeah, 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 I was yeah. like sleep working. Right, because what do you mean? Like you just do it so much that it's now become kind of like just autopilot? It's just, this is a different vibration out here in Los Angeles. This is very true. I, I feel like, you know, um, just coming from the East Coast, you, you, your bearings is just different. Definitely. You know what Definitely. I mean? Like I, I always praise um, Kendrick and Tyler because they're from here. So they know how to like really make it work. Yeah, because they've sliced through that. Right. But, what you're talking about. But for me, it was different. Right. And at a certain time, it's like, okay, I know what it takes to make a song and make a song that works. But right. in terms of like really being like vividly inspired, it, it, it just, I wasn't there. And you won't know until you're not, until you get out of it. You know what mm. I'm saying? You won't know until you're like out of it. When you right, in it, right. when you in it, you think you're, you, you think you're up. Yeah. But it's, it's a lot like driving home at night after having a great time and it's about four or five o'clock in the morning and you're like wiped out right. and you're driving. Oh yeah, that's bad. And you don't know you're asleep until you swerve. Oh my God. That's what yeah. I was doing. I was like yeah. sleep working. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and Ferg was like, yo, like let's work. And right. I was like, oh man, you know, I just haven't been really done any rap records in a minute. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Like I wasn't there. Right. And he was like, nah, bro, like let's do it. And his energy coming to the studio every day, knowing that I couldn't, I had to I had to give him shit that's like blowtorch hot. Yeah. That woke me up. Ferg woke me up. Damn. That guy breathes anthems. That's what he does. This is a fact. Don't play with him when it comes with, with the right beat. No. Don't play with Ferg. It's true. This yeah. is true. Bro, thank you so much for right, talking to me. Uh, I love you. I love, bro. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm here with Pusha T. Yeah. How you been, King? Really good, man. Making incredible music. That's all yes. I've been doing. What was it like when it, when you got the call and it was like, all right, we're doing it? Oh man, you know, it was it was funny because it really started out being like two or three songs. Yeah. And it was gonna be like a Pusha T song, right. uh, you know, a clip song. Yeah. And uh, maybe an NERD song. Wow. And then um. It ended up turning into this big, yeah. you know, full-length album. But um, it's something that we were used to. It's something that we, it was good to see because right. um, 
you know, as you know, Nigo started out as a DJ, mm -hmm. and like how we met him was through our music. Right, right, right. So you know, like it, it just it's just all full circle. This is very true. Yeah. This is very true. Getting Malice back in the booth for Punch Bowl. Mm. You know I'm gonna ask about it. Man, wasn't it incredible? That was crazy. That Didn't was crazy. It sounds so good. It was it was perfect. I know. It man. was perfect. My brother is like amazing. For me, it was like just a really good feeling just to see him in there and right, to see right. him like. Do you remember that? Day? Yeah, you remember that? Hell like, yeah! Right. Hell yeah! I was um, we were, we were in there together, and I was yeah. just like, man, you you know, do your thing, and he just really went at it. How's the family? Really good, man. You seen my boy? No, 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 I haven't seen. Oh him. my god, he's so amazing. You got to check him out. How old is he now? Man, he's almost. He's gonna be two in June. Right, right, right. Yeah, he's actually wreaking havoc wow, every yes, day. Of course, and, of course, um, of course. It's just you know, it's just really good being like a dad and shit. Yeah. It's my first time. Push, thank you so much for talking to me today. Always, it's always bro. a pleasure. Always, bro. Love you. Love you, bro. Yes. Always. Here we have a deep conversation pit, Nigo and Pharrell personally built. You can sit here with an old friend, an old rival, squash it out, talk about it, listen to good music. We love it here. I know Nigo. Steven Victor, the man himself, Victor Victor. And uh, who's, with, uh, who's with us here today, too? Cruz Madrid. Cruz Madrid. <laughs> I you got to have one story like the craziest part about kind of piecing this all together. I mean, I know you have a millions of stories, but when we were shooting Aria, we shot it in Paris in New York. Yes. We had to send someone to Miami to get Pharrell's jewelry. Ah. So we sent someone from Paris just to pick it up. Just to pick it up in Miami. Jeez Louise. Bring it back. What about working on this album? The album is crazy, man. I mean, you know, everybody came together like Yeah. I called Rocky. He was yeah. like, "Yo, I'm all in." Do you think there's gonna be more of that? Like, yeah, there's gonna be more of that. Cause I would say, I mean, it, it's amazing to see. This is just the beginning. We doing that's a restaurant. We doing curry up in New York. Oh wow, curry up in New York. Yeah, that's amazing. Curry up, hurry up. What was uh, your favorite song on the album? Uh, probably Punch Bowl. What's next for you, Cruz? Uh, sixth grade. Sixth grade. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. All right. So right now we're Nigo's personal playpen. Him and Pharrell come here and they throw. What do you ask? Hockey sacks. They fill them with diamonds. So whoever wins get all, gets all the diamonds. That's how it goes with Pharrell and Nigo. We love it. They love to have fun. There you have it. I know Nigo. I know Nigo. The music is good. I'm good. <laughs> Delicious food. Smino, how's it going, King? Amazing, bro. You know, good weed, good days, good vibes, yeah. good people. Right. And I know Nigo. Mm -hmm. I know what's about to happen. Oh, you know Nigo? Yes. Yes. Everyone knows Nigo. We all know him. My mama know Nigo. My earliest for real memory, the uh, Change Clothes video. I feel like I'm at Will Smith house. Yeah, yeah, but they playing slaps, so exactly. it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. I'm Cohen Frost, I know Nigo, an event of a lifetime, an album of a century. Thank you for tuning in. I love Spotify. Cheers. I know Nigo.